safety. A car crash into a ravine near Fox Island County Park. It is a story we first broke yesterday on our weekend report, and after doing some digging, we found out there is more to this story. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday joins us in Studio 15 with what he's uncovered. Lamar? Mark, police say the car involved in this cry crash was actually stolen. I call out with the car owner's family to get their account of what happened before the crash. This was the same Sunday afternoon. Police and fire crews go into a creek near Fox Island County Park on Yoni Road, pulling out a car and a driver. The driver of the vehicle, uh, for whatever reason, lost control, left the roadway, went off onto the side into a ravine that was full of water. But after doing some digging, I found out the driver of the vehicle wasn't the owner. There's Eric sitting on the couch. I'm like, oh. Your car just got stolen. Elizabeth Wright is Eric's sister. She says she saw his Toyota Camry being stolen by this man, Jeremy Inch. They were at their father's house in the glens of Liberty Mills Housing Edition Sunday. That was when she saw her brother run after his car. My dad was on the phone with the police, and uh, we started hearing sirens. And then my father says, oh, a pedestrian's been struck. That pedestrian? was her brother. My brother went out into the street to try to stop him and the man accelerated. He tried to jump out of the way and somersaulted over the vehicle, um, slammed down on the concrete, messed his face all up. Wright says the reason why he was able to take off with the car because the keys were still in the car. Never have thought that something like that would happen in that neighborhood. Inch is still in critical condition. Police tell me he is facing a few charges. They also say there was no prior connection between the deaf victim and the suspect. In Studio 15, Lamar Holiday, News Channel 15.